Hello again, this is Mike Mazzalongo and you're watching the Bible Talk video blog. Today's post is entitled Senioritis. Well, you know you're a senior when the kid at the box office at the movie theater doesn't want to see proof of age when you ask for the senior discount. Well, this scene along with the other signs of age have gotten me thinking about the future and what I want and what I don't want as I go from being a senior to just being old. Well, here they are. Number one, I don't want fake independence. I do not want to force my children to maintain my independent lifestyle, you know, like I live in my own house by myself, at their time and their expense. My true independence is exercised when, when I plan for the time when I am no longer able to be independent. You know, seniors who force their children to give up their own lives in order to provide them with fake autonomy are just being selfish. And I don't want to do that as I grow older. Number two, I want to witness, not whine. You see, I've been blessed with good health, but I know this won't last forever. When poor health that usually accompanies advancing age comes, I want to be an elderly saint still eager to praise God for his many blessings and not that old guy who lists all of his ailments to anyone who will listen. What good is a faithful life if, if all we do at the end of it is complain? How does this glorify God? I want God to help me finish as one who will still yield fruit in old age, as the psalmist says in Psalm 92, 14. Finally, I want to prepare for my journey home. Having my legal and financial affairs in order will help my family deal with the details of my eventual departure. But when I leave for my heavenly home, I want to make sure that I can bless my church family one last time as part of my preparations. The church has preached the gospel to me. It has guided my spiritual development and ministered to me all of my life. My children were taught and baptized and married in the church and will count on the church to bury me when the time comes. So I want to make sure that I leave part of my earthly wealth to the church so it can continue to serve others long after I'm gone. This is something I must plan to do myself because no one else will do it for me. I know that there's no guarantee that I'll live long enough to do any of these things that I've mentioned. But if I do, I'll want someone to read these back to me just in case I forget. In the meantime, I'll check the movie listings in the paper to see where I can use my senior discount this weekend. That is, if I can remember where I left my glasses. Anyways, this is Mike Mazzalongo, and you have just watched the Bible Talk video blog. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.